with GeoServer installed and running, having Tomcat host that as the servlet engine, you want to get a couple other things set up for a Windows environment. You want to enhance the security to make sure that nobody knows the default username and password. You want to make it that IIS can redirect the traffic from port 80 or 443 into the Tomcat running on port 8080 in this default install. Both of these steps are fairly easy. Let's go through them right now. So the default username and password is admin and then GeoServer. To change the default password once you've logged in, it's pretty easy. All you do is on the server itself, go to security, users, groups, and roles users and groups, choose the admin user, and simply change the username, or sorry, change the password, and then confirm that here. Once you're done, hit save, and there you go. Your password is now changed. The next thing you'd like to do if you're using a Windows Server environment is you want to change it that you're not using this localhost 8080. You want to use typically the URL of the computer. And my example server here, it's going to be geom99.duckdns.org. I'm just using this as a development environment, so that's why it's using the generic DuckDNS uh, free DNS hosting. So that's fairly simple, but that's not something you're going to configure inside a GeoServer. You're going to actually configure that using IIS on the Windows machine. So IIS is already installed on this machine, but we need to install a couple other components. Microsoft has an extension called the Application Request Routing. And what this is going to do is allow you to change the URL from IIS, have the request go to the Tomcat running GeoServer, and then come back to IIS. So it's going to act as a proxy. It's really easy to do. You can just install the extension onto the computer, and it will add a couple of extra components into IIS. I've already done that, so let's just jump to IIS. So in IIS, if I select the computer itself, there's going to be this application request routing cache. And if you just open this feature, you just have to enable it first. Click on the proxy server settings and just enable proxy. And that will allow it to do the rewrite. So that's the first step. The next step is going back to the server itself here. There's another item called URL rewrite. And inside of this, you have to add a new entry. So if you go and add a rule, and I've already done that right here, the name, the rule, I just named it GeoServer here, could be whatever you'd like. And you need to match a pattern that the URL will be. So this way, when the user's typing in HTTP colon slash slash your computer name, your server name, whatever the DNS name is, slash GeoServer slash anything, it will know that it has to change or reroute that request on the local server from IIS to the Tomcat. And so this is the front part. This is the pattern that it's gonna match in IIS. And then the next part is how it's gonna redirect it. And you need to enter this down here at the bottom. It's the rewrite URL. Now it's okay also that uh, the pattern, you can actually go through an SSL certificate and the rewrite can go just without SSL. Because this is only occurring on the local computer, it will not be a problem with the rewrite. That's why we're using localhost to make sure it doesn't go off the server. This way it's going to get to the 8080. Notice I'm not including the geo server here at the end. So once you've entered all this, you can hit apply and that will be active immediately. So we can go try that out now. So on your browser, I'm going to still use localhost just to test this, but I'm not going to go through port 8080 anymore. I'm going to go through the default port 80 by not specifying a port. And then I just need to type in the geo server. Now I'm going to give you a little tip. Uh, this might catch you. If you don't put that last slash, it actually doesn't redirect and it won't know what to do with it. You have to have that slash there for it to redirect given the way the URL was formed and the redirect. As soon as you have that extra slash, 
it knows to go to GeoServer. And so there we go. So now this is using localhost. Let's make sure it works with our full DNS name as well. So in this case, it's job99.duckdns.org. And there you go. So now I'm able to pass through the IIS to get to the GeoServer for any requests. Now, there's a couple other little things that can occur if you're setting this up. You may get an error, and I'll show you how to fix that error. This has to do with some security built into GeoServer. This protection is called CSRF protection. It's called cross-site request forgery. And it's watching for redirects. And if it is doing it on a sensitive area, it might actually fail in trying to do the request. I was getting uh, 400 errors, HTTP status 400, and then the message was origin does not correspond to request. That's only if you were passing through IIS. So if I didn't have the port 8080 here, uh, it, it would fail. Um, it would work fine if I had the port 8080 there. Uh, it would fail if I was going through the normal port 80. Okay, so very simply, there's three different ways to solve this. And all I did was edit the web.xml file and add this one component into it. You can see that up here. So the web.xml file is in the Tomcat GeoServer folder, web apps. This is part of GeoServer. I went into web-inf and then edited using a text editor web.xml. And I added these components right here. So GeoServer CSRF whitelist. And then I included the URL that I'd like to be using this GeoServer publicly. And that way, now when it sees this URL, it knows it's okay. So you won't get those 400 errors. So that's another step you'll need to do to make your GeoServer work properly through IIS. Now, finally, having your Tomcat running GeoServer, there may be some issues with some security permissions on the file folders. By default, this folder doesn't have much permissions. So if I right click, go properties and security, it only includes system, local service and administrators, which is pretty restrictive and that's good. But unfortunately, it doesn't include something like this, this GeoServer user. So what I've done here is I've created a new user in Windows, just as a normal user. It does not have administrative rights. It's just a normal user. And then I've granted the permission on this folder so that the GeoServer user has read and write privileges. So you can see that right here. So it has full control of those folders. Now you can get more granular on your security. I'm just doing this as a demo. So now we will also want the service to run as this. If just changing the permissions doesn't make that GeoServer the one that's gonna be using it. So in services, if you go find the actual service running this, you can actually change which service is running it. You can see this login tab. You can focus it to a specific account and that way all of the permissions on that account that you just created will be used when this geo server is running inside that tomcat once you've made these changes you will have to restart the service just simply go right click on top of the service and hit restart and then from there forward that service will be using that geo server so those are the main settings you need to do to get your geo server up and running uh, in a windows environment going through iis Thank you.